Hey guys, this is Gacha Films and welcome back to a brand new video. Someone asked me in the comment section, how can you export a Magic Mask selection out so that it doesn't have a black screen? And this comment came from the video New Object Selection Tool in DaVinci Resolve 18 that came out in 2022. So in this video, I'm going to be trying to answer this question. I'm going to be showing you guys why this happens or the moment that this happens and one way to fix it. Now, this is not a 100% fix, but it should do the job. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please let me down in the comments and I will try to answer them all. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so right here we are in our tutorial workspace and we have one clip which is of a bird slash parrot. I due to how long this clip is, I'm gonna change this to five seconds because it's going to make it easier and faster when I track this object, this animal, or this bird. Now, if you guys do not know what the magic mask is, it's an awesome tool that the Venture Resolve came out this year basically allows you to select the object and you guys could add effects without messing with the whole video or you could just export a specific object without having it included with the background or anything that you don't want to probably not the best explanation but trust me guys it's an amazing tool so how you guys do it right you want to click on your object mask or person mask whatever you guys want to call it click on the plus click on toggle mess overlay click on better make sure it's on better because it does a wonderful job on better and click on your object so just in case we miss some spots i'm going to put it right here we have three strokes and we are going to be clicking right here on track forward and backward basically it's tracking the clip from the beginning to the end to the end to the beginning if that makes sense it's tracking and it's and because this this clip is only five seconds long. It's gonna help us a lot. Right here, we click on add alpha output. We wanna connect these two nodes or two dots. And we wanna go back to our edit timeline. Now it looks something like this, which is amazing, right? Now you guys can mess with it. Don't have to worry about the background or anything like that. But there's only one problem. Now, I don't know why this happens. This happens when you add an effect. This happens when you color grade it. I, I have no idea why but let's say you want to add a drop shadow right okay it's black but let's change this to white well you can see it probably not probably not the best explanation but yeah I'm out of okay drop shadow is not working okay let's say you want to click any other settings right pencil sketch and we click on play it doesn't want to work it doesn't want to work and it's really frustrating because let's say you're tracking a clip that's more than five seconds let's say it's like a 30 second to a minute clip that you're tracking it's very very annoying look it just works for like a split like not even a 4.1 second it just doesn't want to work and i don't know why the venture stuff hasn't fixed this problem or i'm not even I don't even know if they're aware of this problem but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys one way that i found out how to fix it and of course this is not a 100 percent fix but it does the job so we are going to go ahead and just do the same thing as we did right click go to color tab alpha output click it click on better boop uh get our parrot and we want to track it and it should look something like this this is not that hard so what we are going to be doing we are going to be rendering in place now it's a tool right here in the vintage resolve or not even a tool but the option that allows you to render a clip without going to the export page and clicking all these like timeline drags it's just it's it, it's it's very annoying it's very tedious if i'm being honest with you guys and right here and we click on right click on the clip right here render in place now i already have the settings here so go ahead and just copy it but basically our format is quicktime so this is going to export on the mov file so for everyone that has windows like myself 
you are not be you are not going to be able to see it because it's in, in any mov file but if you place it on davinci resolve you are so that's nice GoPro Cineform allows us to export anything with a transparent background. Um, so like this clip, RGB 16, I don't know what's the difference, but I know that this, this just works and just make sure to just leave this on. Don't mess with anything else. Yes, on format, codec and type. And we click on render, it's gonna show our file destination. I literally have a specific file for this. Uh, DaVinci Resolve Random Place. I want to select this file and it's exporting already. So it's already here in our timeline. So we don't have to go to our files and drag it. Now, let's say we want to use this clip, right? And let's go ahead and add this pencil sketch that we had. And we click on play. We ask this effects actually works. Now, this is my way to fix it. And the reason why I say it's not a 100% fix, because sometimes there's some effects that just don't want to work. I want to go back on this because, oh, there you go. Look, the shadow's working because this shadow didn't want to work earlier today. But, okay, perfect. So this is actually working, this shadow. Um, the reason why it's not a 100% fix because there's some for example, like the glow, I don't know if you guys even use glow, but for like the glow, it doesn't want to work. Look, but everything now should work. I, I really tried it with like sharpen and it works. Drop shadow, it works. I don't know about motion blur, motion air, motion blur, it works. So you don't even have to worry about it. Even with this one. So the only one that it wouldn't work is with the, um, resolve light but i'm pretty sure they're gonna fix it on the line this has been a problem since magic mask came out so hopefully in the next couple of updates they figure out why this happens and you could also color grade it without having no problem or anything like that so hopefully this video worked out for you guys and now you can use the magic mask tool to its fullest potential like i said this is not like a 100 way how to fix it but 99 percent of the problems are gone by just rendering in place, uh, make sure that the format is QuickTime, the codec is Go Pro Cineform, and the other one is the RGB 16 bit. So just remember that once you do it once, it's gonna be there, so you don't have to worry about having it to remembering all over again. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button, and see you guys later. Take it easy.